It has been far too long since we've done some knotted dollars. I was gone for an entire month covering the NHL 24 World Championship. Congrats to Polks. The knotted dollars have been neglected. Let's fix that. So let's take stock of where the team is at. It has been a minute, but here we go. We've got McKinnon and McDavid. They turned out to be pretty good. We've also got their team of the season cards. I haven't done the trade-in yet, but we'll do that in this episode. 99 Teravine. Thank God he hit 99 because, well, he struggled there for that middle portion of the season, but it's always fun when you make a call about a fantasy card and he hits 99 so love that we've got danny healy because well he's danny f***ing healy austin matthews elite card now i am going to do the trade-in for the team of the season version however this card is like low-key kind of better than his team of the season card right now no rush all right so he will be traded in for his team of the season version i just don't really see a rush right now this card is so good still we've got mario lemieux gordy howe and wayne gretzky however since our last episode the new monthly uh, update did happen so i haven't been able to upgrade them because well, I haven't played a ton, so I don't have enough power-up collectibles, but we will work on that the upcoming weeks. And then on the fourth line, we've got Natchez, Flashback, Barzell, and Nurse to round out the full Flashback line. Uh, and we'll have to work on that as we go, but just not a really big importance. On defense, got Dougie Hamilton, still one of the better cards, and Chris Pronger, who in my mind is currently the best left-handed defenseman right now. Then we've got the 95 Victor Hedman. I went ahead and made his team of the season card. I think this card is going to be the best defenseman at the end of the game. Um, he did cost 40 team of the season collectibles, but I did go ahead and make him. I think that was a strong pull. Then we've got Kale McCarr at 94. I will do the upgrade to 96 and then make his team of the season. I just think that the team of the year version, there was really no big advantage advantage of that Kale McCarr version. This one to the team of the season version, however, there is a pretty big difference. I believe he does have shutdown. So we're going to go and get the team of the season Kale McCarr. More on that in just a little bit. Third pairing. <sighs> I succumb to all the YouTube comments about, man, you got to put Drew on the team when I pulled his X Factor. I don't like it. I'm going to regret it. But Drew Doughty's going to be on the team, if not for anything, just the memes. And then we've got Brian McCabe, who was one of the better Master Set players still, but obviously that's going to need an upgrade at some point as well. In net, it's still Markstrom. Like, I would love a new goaltender, but I just can't bear the fact to go out and spend coins on it. Plus, I don't have any. So there is that. Let's go ahead and take care of the first matter of business and that's kale mccarr so i do need eight total power up collectibles to get kale mccarr up to 96 so then i can do the trade-in for the team of the season so let's go ahead and take care of that so while i do this i want to bring this up i'm going to nuke my collection all of the gold cards that i have i have no interest in making any more team of or team builder cards so we are completely done with that i think at this point trying to get another 96 it's like 1.8 million coins in value so any gold card that i get even if it's an nhl card i'm not throwing uh into to the team builder sets i'm completely done with that and if anyone is still playing the game regularly and you haven't got like you're not close to making another 96 i would probably avoid if you have one i would make two if you have three i'd try and make four just because there will be a two for one trading to get a 99 but i'm fine with pronger and danny heatley so we are going to go ahead and just completely nuke my collection i pulled out about like 300 nhl cards from the team builder sets that i still had in there uh so we're just going to go ahead this is not the best value i'm simply just trying to do everything i can to upgrade the team because i simply haven't been able to play for an entire month so let's go ahead and do this uh the monotony of running through these stupid menus so uh we'll uh we'll snap our fingers and move on i swear there has to be a better way to actually like do these trade-in sets that take forever it's just so silly to me that we still have to like just spend like 10 minutes when we're trying to do one upgrade all right now that he's his 96 i've got him up high enough where i can do the trade-in so we'll remove him from the lineup and and then we'll do the trade-in. I did have some team of the season collectibles left over. So now we can finally move on from the X-Factor Kale McCarr. And we'll complete that set. And now I feel pretty good about the decor. For like two months, I hated the decor that I had. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it currently. All right, so there's Kale McCarr. We're actually going to put him up on the first line over Dougie Hamilton. I just kind of think that that combo of McCarr and Pronger is low-key going to be nasty. And then Drew Doughty will toil on the third pairing. I will say we are going to give him an absolutely obnoxious number okay we need to make sure he's disrespected on the team so in the comments section pick his number it could be one it could be 90 two i don't know something just ridiculous 54 i don't know just a really bad number pick it and whoever gets the most likes that's the number we're going with now i also have to do the trade-in for the team of the season versions of the mckinnon and mcdavid card so we'll go ahead and do that now we've got to make the decision of what versions to use 
So when it comes to Nathan McKinnon, his team of the year card, he's got gold wheels, snappy edges, as well as unstoppable force, but he's 99 everything, so that really doesn't matter. The attributes don't matter at all. His team of the season card has unstoppable force and basically switches with wheels. I think I'm going to try unstoppable force. I've talked about this a lot. You know, I, I personally think that having 99 speed with wheels, even though the cost and that everyone else has 99 speed, to get the true value of the 99 speed when you have the puck, you actually lose 3% of your skating ability. So while you're still at like 96 speed, uh, I'm going to try it without it and see. I've really loved McDavid the whole year with it, but we'll go full like unstoppable force, make it snappy lineup. So I think we're going to go with, uh, we're going to go with McKinnon's team of the season card. And then when it comes to McDavid, again, this is the same situation, gold wheels or unstoppable force. They both have make it snappy. So that really doesn't matter. Uh, for this, uh, we'll go with, we'll go with this team of the season card as well. All right. So the lineup's all set. And now because I did get those two trade-ins, those other, like the team of the year versions, I could literally trade those two in. Not the most ideal in terms of value at all, but that would give me 12 team of the season collectibles, which almost gets me all the way to getting Austin Matthews team of the season player item. So eventually I'll do that. But again, there's no rush because I low-key think that the 94 is still slightly better. Now I actually have a ton of 81s and 82s still. And like I said, I have no use for them because I'm really not going to make any more team builder cards. So let's throw all of these into power up collectibles. That way I can finish Gretzky and Lemieux. Also really falling behind on the XP sets as well. It's funny, if you take any time off, man, it's going to be so hard to get the XP sets done when this comes out. But hey, we did get a mini ultimate pack, so let's do it. Let's rip it. Big team of the season pull here, fellas. A couple 83s. Those are all going to go into sets anyways. 82. Grandland. 84 Crosby. God, these packs are scam. But eh. It's just more trading. All right, so throw all these cards into these sets. And like I said, we're just going to nuke the entire collection. All right, so I was able to grab about seven more. So what we'll do is we'll definitely do Gretzky. That gets him to 99 speed, so. And that's really the only one I can do right now. But again, like I said, I'm just going to throw everything into those sets. And we're actually going to put Gretz back up on the second line with Heatley and, uh, and Mario Lemieux. All right, now the team's looking good. We've got McKinnon, McDavid, as well as Tara Vinen, Heatley, Gretzky, Lemieux, Howe, Austin Matthews, Kachuk, and then Natchez, Barzal, and Nurse. Back end is team of the season, Makar, Pronger, Hamilton, and Hedman, as well as Doughty and McKay. So, with that said, let's see if we can still play this game. We also need to take care of abilities real quick, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to run Unstoppable Force. Again, I, I saw on Reddit, I actually got someone, um, you know, say, you know, kind of call out my dislike of edges as the game gets a little bit further in the year. So, I'm going to run Unstoppable Force as well as make it snappy on pretty much everyone that I can. Uh, for Pronger, I'm just going to do Truculent as well as Quick Pick. I think that's all you really need. I am going to put Quick Draw on Matthews as well as make it snappy. Quick Quick pick on Dougie Hamilton, unstoppable force on Gretzky, shutdown on Victor Hedman, unstoppable force on Mew, McDavid will go unstoppable force, make it snappy, and then Makar, we're gonna go shutdown for sure, as well as quick pick, make it snappy on Tara Vinen, unstoppable force on Healy, make it snappy. The big jump in ability points is like made it really easy to like put every ability that you want on a card. And you know what? We're gonna go Truculence and Beauty back in on Kachuk, even though he's on the third line, just to have some fun. All right, a lot of debut here let's uh let's get into a game of rivals now the goal is still to get to division one right now i'm at 1951 so we got to go like 150 skill points and uh you know considering i haven't played a ton this could be dicey early on we got a real issue i legitimately cannot find a game i've been searching for 10 minutes yikes here we go rod beliefs the summer of chell good d by pronger can't pick up the puck excellent all right, first possession. Here we go. Burn him. Big block. This guy's just... All right. Anything towards tonight. I love it. Let's go, Pronger. This is ugly. Big save. It's a big block. Let's go, Heater. Let's go! 
Oh, yes, sir. Just like he drew it up. Absolutely pumped for a full half period. Healy blocks a big one and buries it. Okay, we need to wake up here. Oh, let's go. Let's have another one. Bad turnover. Oh, yo, we baited him. That's a big... Got a piece of that? That's a bad trip. All right. We're going to tie up. Um, somehow I don't get that. Okay. Great block. Excellent. All right. I mean, not a good period by any stretch of the imagination, but we are winning. Five minutes to 121. We have one shot on goal. Yeah, need to be better there. Another penalty. Okay, this is a mess. Big save. Wow. I mean, I don't know how we just get knocked down like that. You got to fight for that. Big tip. Almost had another breakaway. Oh my god. Oh, what a block. That's a trip. You can't do that. I mean, that's a hell of a block. Big, big po check. Of course we don't get it. Oh my god, dude. I'm getting worked. What a save. Can we get the puck in? My car is dead. Let's go, McKinnon. That's a trip. Can't do that. Oh, let's just go. See, I hate that I get knocked there because I've got goal unstoppable force on and I'm just getting absolutely crushed. This guy's 452 and 198. Like, hmm. Don't love all of my big guys just getting crushed. Oh my god, what a block. Get out of this period. Not like this. I mean, dude. I just cannot get out of my own zone. It's crazy. I have three shots on goal to 16. Like, there's really nothing I can say. I don't know how I don't stick lift them there. Not really sure on that one. Hmm. Tough. Another big save. Rebound? Let's go! Okay. All right. We have no business being in this, but we have mass amount of heart. I haven't won the draw either. I'm going to tie it. No, stick lift. Dude, I just can't win a draw. And that's a breakaway against. Big save. I swear, McDavid feels sluggish. Big save. All right, we're going to shoot up. Let's stun him. Back in. Wow, what a save. Unreal. Let's go. Let's go, man. All right. Don't know how that went in. We'll take it. We're going to hold to the back end. Let's go. <laughs> Oh my god. I haven't wanted to win like this in months. We're going back in. Let's go! What a dub! Just completely stole this from this guy. Oh my goodness. I mean, what a battle. Oh yeah. This guy, plus 16. Oh man, this guy's upset. I'm getting a message for sure. <laughs>
that's gonna do it for this episode of no money spent the chase for division one continues but i think it's time we get back into hut champs as well this week thank you guys again for watching i'll see you next time have a good one